Hey everyone and welcome to another Kirby video. In this video I'm going to do a bit of a different kind of setup than I would normally do for a website. I'm going to build myself a little bookmark tool. And this could end up on your personal site or it could just be for you um, as a personal tool. It doesn't really matter but it has a great options to show you some things that you can do in the panel and this is what I want to focus on today. We are not going to build any templates, um, I'm not going to go into the details how to style this or anything. I really want to focus on how to set up the panel for this. In order to do that I have already installed the plane kit, I've moved it into a bookmarks folder. Um, I'm using Laravel Herd for this which will give me then this handy little bookmarks.test domain here and I've already created the first account and as soon as I log in to the plain kit this is what I get. The plain kit is really designed to not give you anything that you wouldn't need. It is really really plain and also quite boring in, in this so we have to get started here and make it nicer. And what I want to do is I want to create a new folder in my content folder called bookmarks and every bookmark that I will add later will end up as a sub page or a subfolder of this bookmarks folder. We can actually do this a bit more easily in um, the, the editor by creating a new file here and I want to start with a text file which would be called bookmarks .txt. This is something that I could decide on my own so far, but it makes sense because it, well, it's the bookmark section, the bookmarks text file, and then every subpage would get a bookmark.txt. Uh, By doing that and reloading the panel, it should already appear in my pages, so that works. But as soon as I click here, I can see bookmarks is still loading the default blueprint for the panel and the default blueprint doesn't really work. We don't need a text field, we don't need those here. So let's change that quickly. We created a bookmarks.txt here. As you can see, Kirby already added a unique ID to this. Um, and when we want to create a new panel setup for this particular page type now. We will do this in the blueprints folder, inside blueprints, inside the pages folder. And so far, as I said before, the panel would load the default YAML file for this and we can create a new one for our bookmarks section now. As long as we keep the same name, bookmarks.txt, bookmarks.yaml, it will connect those two. And it will make sure that they are that this one is loaded now instead of the default one. We can quickly give this a try and reload this, and you can see now the definition from before is gone. It's giving me this blue box which just tells me that nothing is set up here and, um, except of the title. So we have to do this. And what I want to do here is to create it a pages section because I now want to take care of the sub pages that are being created. Um, what we can do here is to choose our own name. I'm using bookmarks again. I'm not really creative. You could call this foo or bar or whatever you want. This doesn't really matter, but the type has to be pages in order to make this a pages section. Pages section means I can now use this to create additional sub pages inside my bookmarks folder. If I would do this, or if I open the dialog to create a new page, you can see that Kirby now gives me a choice between two templates. The bookmarks template that we just created, or the blueprint that we just created for it, and the default page blueprint that we've just that, that has already been there in the plain, uh, plain kit. This is not exactly what I want. I don't want to create another bookmarks section inside my bookmarks section that wouldn't really makes sense and I also don't really want to create a default page here. I want to create every bookmark as a new page type called bookmark. And I can already set this up here by defining the template option and that template option I'm using bookmark here as a singular to create a single bookmark as a sub page. What this does now if I reload this I click here, you can see the template selector is gone because Kirby already knows, okay, there should only be bookmark 
templates inside here. As soon as I start adding my first test page, uh, my mouse is gone. Um, this will be added. And now let's check what Kirby did. Go back to the finder and you can see this has been added as draft, as a draft in the, inside the drafts folder, inside my books, bookmark section, so far so good. And it has, it has used the title to create the slug, also what we want. And this is the important part, it has used this bookmark singular um, as the text file name here. And this is the connection. The text file name re relates to the blueprint name and it relates to the template. This is like the universal connection between those different page type um, elements. So inside there, you can see the title is there, the text is there. Okay, so far so good again, but we don't really have a proper definition for this bookmark. We, we don't really, again, need the text. We don't need all of this because Kirby is still using a default, the default YAML for this because we don't have a bookmark YAML so far. Let's create this. We start with the title again. The title is only relevant in that template selector that you've seen before, otherwise you wouldn't really see it. For If we reload it, we see the same blue box, no definition is here, we now need to define something, add some elements to this. Um, the elements that I need are no longer sections, I don't want to create more subpages or files to this, maybe this could come later, but the, at this point I only want to add fields to it. Let's add a couple fields. The first field that I want to add, obviously for a bookmark, is a URL field, and I call this one link. Um, and I also want a category field. I want to specify a few categories and then select one of those. So this would be a select box, and I can add a couple options. So let's say uh, I want to add bookmarks for my cookbook, I'm interested in guitar stuff, in tech stuff, and maybe in environmental stuff. Well, you could easily um, extend those options, create your own options, whatever you are interested in. So now this makes starts, uh, start, it starts making sense. I can now enter URLs here. I can specify it category and I can store this. Cool. This is how it looks. It's not really what I imagined. So um, I think for the bookmarks there it would be a bit better to have a table for this. I kind of want to see what the URL is. I also want to see what the category is that I chose. So let's do that first. We can do this by going back to our bookmarks.yaml um, because this is where we control how the pages are displayed. And one option for the pages section is to switch the layout to table. If we do that and we reload it, this is how it looks. So it would give me the preview, the title, and then nothing else so far, which is not ideal. I, as I said before, I want to show the link and I also want to show the category. In order to do that, we can switch on additional columns. And we are switching on columns by using the field definitions, the names of the fields that we used for each bookmark in that table. So that would be the link field and the category field, and we want to show both. If we just want to show them and we don't want to further customize the columns, we can use the field name as key and then simply use true as value. That would switch on the column. Well, it should be category, of course, and not with two colons. So this is all we need to do. We could also um, customize the column design or the layout. We could do, customize the width of the columns and, and other parts, but I want to stick with this so far. And what Kirby does now in Kirby 4.1 is that it automatically picks up the fields that we define and then cho chooses the perfect column type for this. So it will automatically know that this is a link field, so it would turn this into a pretty usable link preview. And it would also show my category as a, this bubble design here, which 
works perfectly for, for what I want to do here because I want to have this overview of bookmarks that I'm creating. This is cool. So now I can click on the link and the link will open in a new tab if I hit uh, the command key. Um, and I can still use the title to jump to my um, sub, sub view and edit the, the, the entry here. There are a few things that I'm not super happy with so far. Uh, the, the image preview is not really great. Well, it's not saying anything. I'm not adding images to it, so it doesn't really work. One thing we could do now is to simply switch it off by using the image option here and set it to false. Then it would just be gone. Um, let's just keep it for this, uh, like this for now. I think that's totally fine as, as far as I like it. Um, what we can do from here now is to further optimize the way that we add new entries to this. Because if I click on add here, you can see I can enter the title and I can enter the slug or the URL appendix. And this is working for most page types. But in this case, what I really want is I want to add bookmarks quickly. I want to add additional links quickly. It would be really cool to have the link field in my dialog already. And again, with Kirby 4, this is now possible and it is really, really cool. And we can um, we can choose where how this dialog works by going back to our bookmark.yaml. So we define the dialog for this page type in the YAML file for this page type. And it is defined with the create option. And the create option has now a couple sub options that you can add to it. The first one that I want to use is it can define additional fields. And the fields definition does not need to repeat all of this because we already set this up. All it needs to do is to add the to use the names of the fields and add it as a list. So if I want to have my link field in the dialog, I can do it like this. And if I want to have the category field in my dialog, I can do it like this. And this is basically it. I don't need to say that this is a link uh, a URL field and that this is a select field because it's grabbing those options from down here already. OK, let's check this out. If I go back and I click on Add, you can see it automatically added the fields to, um, to the dialog, and this is pretty cool already because it basically does what I want it, uh, wanted to do. I can now add a link already and I can add a category and this is really cool. Let, let's add another test. I don't have great examples here, but as you can see, if I click on create as draft, it will automatically fill in the link and it will fill in the category. So it is a lot quicker to add new bookmarks but it has added it as draft. That is Kirby's default um, behavior because most of the times you would probably end up with broken pages if information is not filled in. But now we have already filled in the information that we need and the bookmark is basically complete. I don't need this to be a draft. What we can do to further optimize this is to set the status here. So we can already say whenever a new bookmark is added, the default status should no longer be draft, but it should be listed, for example, or unlisted. Let's check this out and see what it does. Quickly delete this again because I'm so uncreative that I need to fill in the same stuff. And now you can see that the button already changed. So it is now saying create as public. And if I click on OK, um, it has now created it as public. Exactly what I want. A lot quicker again, but I would totally prefer if I don't end up on the form because the form is already filled out. It's not so extremely helpful to be in here. I would prefer to just add new bookmarks, hit OK, and then still stay in the list and just keep on adding. And I can do this again with another option for the create section here by defining redirect and setting this to false. So by default, it would be um, true. So it would mean that as soon as you hit submit in the dialog, it would submit or it would redirect to the form. But this is no longer happening as soon as I set this to false. And I can demonstrate this by filling this in. 
I have a weird issue today with my mouse not showing up, but I think I'm fine. So as you can see, it didn't redirect, it landed in the table again, or it's just stayed there basically, and the add button is still focused, so I could add more now pretty quickly. I have even more options to customize the URL appendix and also the title field, but for this use case, I, I'm totally happy with this. Um, now we can do a few more things to just wrap this up. Going back to the bookmarks.yaml file, one thing that I would like to do is to sort this by title, ascending by default, so bookmarks would all automatically be um, sorted as soon as I add them. And I can already start searching my bookmarks if I go to the universal search here. But it would be cool to have that directly in the table, which is also possible. So I can go here and add search true and it would give me a nice little filter for the table and the table would live filter and I would stay here and not open the search dialog, which I think is sometimes also pretty handy. So you can see how easy it is to add such a simple thing as a custom bookmark tool to your panel. And you could just really use the panel like that and build your own bookmark tool, your own, I don't know, maybe a library tool or um, an invoice tool or whatever you like. Um, or you could use this for your personal site, list your favorite bookmarks here, just use this as an internal thing that could help with certain editorial tasks, whatever you come up with. There are a few things that we could do to further optimize this and tweak this, but maybe that's the perfect topic for the next video. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.